Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and today we're going to be using the Heston Q Smart Induction Cooktop to be cooking some perfectly crispy skinned salmon. Let's get started. All you have to do is just open up the app and then search for crispy salmon or crispy skinned salmon, just like so, and it should populate a list of everything that they have in this app so far. So here I found it, crispy skinned salmon. Just click on it and follow along to the instructions. That's all you got to do. And the queue will tell you everything that you need ingredients wise and equipment wise for every single one of their recipes. And as usual, I will have all my ingredients down in the description box below. So you saw the app ask you how thick your salmon is. So with the Hessen Q, they give you this nifty little ruler that you can use to measure all your proteins. And then once you get your measurement, you go into the app and you input what your measurements are. That way it communicates with the pan or it lets the pan and the cooktop know how long to cook your protein. And let's go with medium salmon. And then all you have to do is power on your cue. And for today's recipe, I'm using Hessen Q's Smart Chef's Pan, perfect for sauteing the crispy salmon. And this recipe, and like all the recipes in the Hessen Q app, all you have to do is get all your mise en place ready and just follow along. Okay, salmon is dry, go to the next step. And then they even ask you what kind of salt you use. That is crazy. All right, so season the salmon. And then as you can see, the queue is heating up the pan the way that it's programmed to by the chefs that created these recipes for this device. This is really cool so far. And it is definitely taking out all the guesswork. So all the home cooks, amateur home cooks, you can start cooking like professionals. And I believe that's the goal of the Hessen Q. So far, so good. I mean, we haven't had to do anything other than put the fish in the pan. And now look, the Q is preparing to crisp up the skin. Just hit the next step and let it do its thing. For the next six minutes and 20 seconds, we'll just sit back and just watch the Q cook the salmon. You notice that the intensity of the sizzling sound has died down. That means most of the moisture of the skin has cooked out. So therefore it's turning the skin to be nice and crispy. Timer is about to go off. We'll see what the next step is. And it looks like it's time to flip the salmon. Look, how easy is this? Or has this been? This is insane. All right, just crisp the salmon. Oops, I, looked, I nicked the little bottom part right there. I kind of have a habit of doing that. Look, I did it again. Oh man, but it's okay. But if you look at the rest of the salmon, really beautiful, beautiful crispy skin so far. And here, the next step is adding oil, thyme, garlic, or butter, I'm adding butter, and just baste the salmon. And look, there's another timer right there to let you know how long it's going to be cooking for. The beautiful thing about this app is, with all the recipes that are in this app, you can go and preview them so you know what to expect while cooking through them. And just look, really nice crispy skin. We're just basting as we need and it's cooking very beautifully. Look, and now timer's up, remove the salmon. That's it. That's all we had to do. And I can't wait to plate this up. I'm plating this up with some truffled sun choke puree, some blanched asparagus, mushrooms, and I fried the skin of the sun choke to be nice and crispy. So let's go ahead and plate our salmon. Now you don't have to serve the salmon with the exact same sides that I have, but if you want to, all the ingredients will be listed in the description box down below. Take a look at this salmon, nice and crispy. Woo, man. All right, let's go plate this. Here I have some truffled sun choke puree. Then I have just a little bit of blanched asparagus, our really crispy skin salmon done on the Hessen Q. Then I just had some mushrooms that I sauteed. Place a few around your plate like so. And then this crispy sun choke skin. Like I love using sun choke skin or like potato skins just to fry them up, crisp them up, gives them a nice extra texture. And then here's the garlic thyme butter from the pan. Just drizzle it on the side just a little bit for some flavor. And then let's go with some freshly cracked black pepper just a little bit give it a little kick and then garnish with some chives, a lemon wedge, and then some Maldon flaky sea salt to finish this all off. And then this is my dish 
right here cooked on the Hessen Q, the crispy salmon cooked on the Hessen Q, and it couldn't have been any easier. Listen. And you can see just how perfectly cooked this salmon is. Look, the skin is so crispy, it's still staying on its, like that, look at that. Look at that, watch. You hear that, yeah? Crispy, crispy skin. Nice, soft, juicy, flaky salmon. Let's get some asparagus. Let's get some of the sun choke puree. Let's get a mushroom. Look at that. Look at that. Just incredible. Mm. <laughs> One of the cool things about the Hessen Q is, well, you saw the Q set itself up to a certain temperature. It was like 425 degrees or 450 or something like that. So that is going to replace in the future, low, medium, and high, because the thing is, I mean, unless you have more kitchen gadgets like an infrared thermometer or something like that, like how hot does high get? How hot does medium get? And so this takes out all the guesswork. So you can go into power mode, which is you control it yourself and set to the temperature of the pot that you want it to be. And that way you get perfect cook every single time. No more guesswork, no more overcooking your salmon skin, no more undercooking it. This just takes all the guesswork out of it. As you saw, it was very, very easy. Just cut the salmon or get salmon portions into whatever the Q asks you to, measure it, and follow along. The Q did all the work. I think the only thing I had to do was put oil in the pan and flip the fish and baste it a couple of times. I just sat back and I was watching it, just like how you're watching. Just let's see how this works. Let's see how it goes. And right here, the proof is in the salmon. I had a lot of fun with this. Slowly, I'm gonna crack open the Heston Q and see what it can really do. I think the next video, I'm probably gonna do either scallops or duck breast, whichever I get my hands on first. But definitely check this out. Go to www.hestonq.com. Check out all their products. Use my promo code TWAN for 20% off all your purchases. And if there's things on there that is already marked down um, as like a for sale, you get my 20% on top of that as well. So go ahead, do yourself a favor, check this stuff out, or and, and also go download their app, the Heston Q app. Go to your app store and download it for free and check out the app that you saw me use at the beginning of the video just to give you an idea of what the app entails, what recipes are on there, you know, what other cookware you can use and see if it's right for you. And have a blast like <laughs> this was so fun all right guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is gonna be the future of induction cooktop cooking right takes all the guesswork out of it guys take care of yourselves all right always take care of yourselves and as always peace